Hi, Ryan from Metro Hobbies. Today we're going to be looking at uh, little model aeroplanes. A lot of beginner style aircraft, something like this, with a high wing on them, tend to be made out of foam, or what people call foam. There are various foam materials that are used in them, and the better ones are made out of a material called allopore, which is basically a plasticized foam and is fairly flexible, so it is rather forgiving in little bumps and accidents. Unfortunately, it won't save your plane with the inevitable smash out of the sky straight into the ground, but at least it gives you a second chance. It also makes up molded as a nice looking aircraft and is extremely light. And the lighter the aircraft, the better your chances of being able to fly it properly. With uh, most uh, beginners, somewhere along the line, you're gonna have a bit of an accident and something might get broken. There are a number of adhesives that can be used on the foam models, but be very, very careful. If you're using super glues and such the like, check the label, it must say foam safe or foam friendly. If it doesn't say that, don't use it because it can melt the foam that you, your aircraft is made of, immaterial if it's polystyrene or ellipore. A lot of the aircraft, as I said, were made out of an ellipore type foam, which is the better quality foam for model aircraft. It does have a fair amount of flex in it, so a lot of larger aircraft will need to be braced with carbon fibre to stop the flex, because you don't want wings flapping around when you're trying to do turns. Another product that is used quite a lot and is not really highly recommended is the polystyrene or expanded type foam. It does have a little bit of give in it, but if you overstress it, it can snap very, very easily. So be careful of models. Stick with reputable brands and then you won't end up with a plane that breaks quite easily the first time you bump it. Another product used is Depron. Now Depron is a, a foam board, very, very light, but very, very strong. And a very, it doesn't flex as much, but it takes a lot to snap it. Okay, um, a lot of the scratch builders use this type of a foam to do their own creations or from plans that have downloaded off the internet. So the Depron, a good material, we stock it, great to use. If you do have a little bit of a mishap with, a, with your model somewhere along the line, it's not a problem to fix up. The, uh, the way they come from the factory, they generally all glue together and a rough landing or a cartwheel can pull a wing off or something like that. With the, the foam safe glue, and I recommend using foam to foam because like the foam that you're gluing together is flexible, so is this adhesive. You can use super glues and super glues are great for field repairs, but super glue does dry hard, it sets hard. And if it's a flexible area, there's a risk of it cracking or even pulling away. But an adhesive like this is absolutely perfect for doing repairs, but not field repairs, because it takes about three to four hours to actually set properly, and you don't want to be sitting around in the field waiting that long. Just put a little bit on one of the surfaces. Line up the wing or whichever part has come away the way it's supposed to be. You see this glue because it takes a while to set gives you time to actually get it exactly where it needs to be so that she's all nice and square and looks right and a good idea is to use just normal dressmaking type pins pin through the foam and that holds it in place while the glue sets I generally glue a model I'll leave it overnight don't be tempted to try and fly it within the next two hours or something like that. Leave it overnight to allow it to fully bond so it's back to the way it was intended from the factory. If you're unlucky enough and the foam is absolutely snapped away, this happens quite easily when people accidentally stand on their models when they're running after them, and I've seen it happen a lot. The easiest way to fix something like that, it's not, an, it's not the end of the world, you can fix it, but what I recommend you do is put it back to where it should be there's usually a pattern in the foam that sort of guides it. Get some sticky tape and place sticky tape on one side, holding it nice and flat and together exactly where it wants to go. Then open it up and apply adhesive. Not too much, but just enough for it to stick. Push it back together and then put it on a flat surface and put something heavy on top of it. That'll keep it flat, level, and you won't have a crooked aircraft part when you put it back onto your aeroplane. Uh, my recommendation with any parts, especially major control surfaces on an aircraft, if they break, is to 
stick with a reputable brand that will have replacement parts. Replace the damaged part. It's just so much safer than trying to glue something that may fail in flight and then you lose your entire aircraft. With that in mind, blue skies, enjoy your flying.